Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Finger. I'd like to present a short and focused video presenting my simple mnemonic, MOST, designed to help you in the diagnosis of small choroidal melanomas. MOST satisfies the KISS principle. Some say keep it short or simple. Others say keep it simple and straightforward. More than a few say something else. But clearly, mnemonic devices provide simplicity, help us remember, and thus solve complex real-life issues. Others have proposed a much more complex, difficult-to-remember mnemonic device that often leads to confusion and frustration. The next six slides will simplify your task of differentiating a choroidal nevus from a choroidal melanoma. I developed a mnemonic to help differentiate choroidal nevi from melanomas. The mnemonic is called MOST, where melanoma equals orange pigment, subretinal fluid, and thickness of two or more millimeters. On the top left, you see gross orange pigment. It's not hard to see that with indirect ophthalmoscopy and color imaging. However, on the top right, you can see that fundus autofluorescent imaging highlights and hyperautofluoresces the orange pigment. When you have small amounts of orange pigment, sometimes the fundus autofluorescent images will help you find and, and diagnose its presence. Next, let's talk about subretinal fluid. Well, subretinal fluid can also be seen on the fundus autofluorescent image on the top right. You can see a dark demarcation line extending down from the tumor the tumor is leaking. However, it's on the OCT where it is obvious that there is subretinal fluid, and the photoreceptors look dysmorphic, suggesting that the fluid is toxic to them. Lastly, and still importantly, thickness. Thickness is best measured with ultrasound imaging. We use both A scan and B scan, but both work and are helpful. So, altogether we have the mnemonic MOST, where melanoma equals orange pigment, subretinal fluid, and thickness of two or more millimeters. This definitely is a choroidal melanoma. However, it's just not that simple. Not all tumors look classic. But the mnemonic is still helpful, since most tumors will show you those findings. As you see, there are many, many findings and many, many tests that can be used. I sat down and tried to write all the different characteristics of choroidal melanoma in this characteristic summary. So, moving on to the question, when should I refer a choroidal nevus to an eye cancer specialist? Well, if you see orange pigment or subretinal fluid, thickness or growth, for sure, you can get a consultation. However, if you just want baseline evaluation measurements with photographs, OCT, fluorescein, and ultrasound by someone who looks at these lesions all the time, it's okay to send them. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Eye Cancer Foundation for their support of mine and others' academic work, as well as their support of international multicenter cooperative research in ophthalmic oncology. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and that it helps you in your clinical practice.